Hey there bookworms, welcome back to my channel, my name is Annie and today I will be doing the Not A Bookcube newbie tag. This tag was created many many years ago by Shelby on the channel Clever Fox, and I'll leave a link to her original video in my description box. So I wasn't tagged to do this, but I'm not a bookcube newbie anymore, so I decided to do it anyway. <laughs> Let's just start with the first question, how old is your channel? So I started my YouTube channel in 2011, so it's 10 years old now, which is quite a lot. And back then I only used it to comment and I uploaded the occasional horse riding video. Um, and some of those videos are actually still on my channel so if that sparked your interest you are very welcome to check out my crappy editing skills from 2011 2012 so i then started booktube in 2017 back then it was under the name annie's bookish world but i stopped again in like late 2018 and i tried to get back into it tried to restart my channel in 2019 but i only made like three or four videos and i didn't stick around for some reason and then i went on a longer break but in between i felt that i still wanted to make bookish content so in summer 2020 i started my book blog and the book princess and then some weeks ago I decided I'd also love to get back on booktube and I uh, hope that I'll stick around this time. <laughs> Question number two, what are your favorite videos to make? That would have to be tags, I mean I'm here right now doing a tag because I just love tags, they're a great way to get to know a person and their reading taste a little better and I guess I just love answering questions about books and also questions about myself if they're not too personal and this is why I also will be doing tags that I haven't been tagged in <laughs> but these are just the most fun videos for me to film. I also really love monthly reading wrap ups, I used to uh, do those a lot when I started my channel and I also post monthly reading wrap-ups on my blog and I will probably start doing those videos again too in the future. Question number three, what is a piece of advice you would give to someone wanting to join booktube? So the first thing that instantly comes to my mind is be yourself. Just talk about the books you want to talk about, talk about the books you like and give your own honest opinions. Don't try to be someone you're not just to fit in. Uh, personally, I just love to see people's passion for something. I love to see the light in people's eyes when they rave about their favorite book or their favorite genre, even if it's like for the thousandth time. I just love it. I think it's so natural and so authentic. Even if I personally maybe don't know the book or I didn't like it, this is something that creates creates authenticity and this is always something I love in people's videos. So just be yourself and of course have fun! <laughs> Question number four, since joining have you run into any unforeseen challenges with your channel? So this wasn't unforeseen but still a challenge and that's the language. English is my native language so when I started I had a lot of vocabulary issues and also struggled with like fluent speaking but this is also something that's improved a lot so when I watch my old videos now this is actually a little bit painful for me to watch but it's also really cool to see how my speaking skills have improved and this is also something I'm proud of and another thing that was definitely an unforeseen challenge for me is the editing I would have never thought the editing of the videos to be such a big part of everything and I don't have a fancy editing program I only use Windows Movie Maker and this program tends to glitch very often and more than once I've lost hours of work because of that which was so frustrating but the editing is definitely something I would have never expected to be so time consuming and such a big part of making videos. Question number five, what is your favorite book or series you've read because of booktube? That is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. Back when I started watching booktube videos like all the big booktubers were talking about this series. I think back then there were only like the first two books maybe were out and uh, this went instantly to my TBR and then when the first books were translated into German I picked this one up at the bookstore and I ended up loving this series so much. I finally finished uh, reading the seventh book Kingdom of Ash back in February and it was so bittersweet to end the series. And then another trilogy I just had to name here is The Illuminae Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff because I just love this trilogy so much. Seriously, I just, I can't, I can't even tell you how much I love it. This is a YA sci-fi trilogy and it was unlike anything I had ever read and I would probably never read another book like this and I would have never discovered this if not for booktube so the only thing I can say is thank you. <laughs> so question number six, overall what's your favorite aspect of booktube? So my answer for this is probably the answer that almost everybody who's doing this tag uh, chooses and it's the community because I think booktube makes it so easy to connect with book lovers from all over the world. I love to hear people talk about books and I love talking about books myself. I mean I could probably talk about books 24 7 and that's why I'm here. So the community aspect is definitely something that I love and I also hope to get back into this a little more now that I kind of restarted my channel. Question number seven is to give a shout out to a newbie and I actually have three and the first one is Lakasa from Lakasa's library. She is not exactly a newbie, she started her channel four months ago but she's a fellow German booktuber so I just had to include her here. So if you speak or understand German, you can uh, check out her channel. And two other newbies I just discovered a couple of days ago are Avery from Avery Avid Reader and Kate from Katie Bird Books. 
and I'm gonna leave links to all three channels down below in my description so you can check them out. And finally, question number eight is who do you tag? And I'm not gonna tag any people to do this because this tag has been around for so long. If you're not a booktube newbie, then you've probably done this yourself by now. And if you haven't and you happen to stumble across my video and you want to do it, then you're tagged. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, then give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel or to my book blog that I've linked down below. And I'll see you in my next video whenever this will be. Bye!